Hello and welcome to another edition of the FloridaHockeyNow.com Panthers Morning Skate. I'm your host, George Richards, coming to you from FLA Live Arena in Sunrise, where the Florida Panthers will be taking on the Chicago Blackhawks tonight. It's Thursday. It's March 31st. 2022. The Florida Panthers uh, wrapping up this quick two-game homestand. They already beat the Montreal Canadiens 7-4 on uh, Tuesday night. Um, and, and tonight they get the Chicago Blackhawks as Jonathan Taves plays his 1,000th career NHL game all with the Blackhawks. Um, if you were watching the Panthers game on uh, on Tuesday night against the Canadiens, you saw that Andrew Burnett really changed up the, the, the lines, the forwards, uh, all four lines have been changed. Um, usually he reverts back to, 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 you know, for the next game, they revert back to the normal stuff. Not today. Uh, the Panthers really have thrown things into a blender. They'll have an all-new look uh, tonight when they take on the Blackhawks. Um, you've got Sam Reinhardt. Just for instance, you can go to FloridaHockeyNow.com, check out our lineups page. Um, it's got all the changes and then the, the betting odds on there. Uh, that's online right now, but just for instance, Sam Reinhardt up on the top line with Sasha Barkov and Carter Verhage. You've got Ryan Lomberg on the second line with Jonathan Huberto. Uh, you know, a whole lot of mixing and matching. So very interesting to see how the Florida Panthers look. Listen, there's 16 games left. Um, these really are, I mean, I, I, I asked uh, Sam Reinhardt about this. It, it's rough to call these the dog days because a lot of these guys know what the dog days of a season are like, right? When there's nothing to play for. Uh, the Panthers have something to play for. The Panthers are, but they know they're in the playoffs. They know they're playing opponents who are a lot farther down in the standings than they are. And they know that if they just come out here and play halfway decent, they're more likely going to win. I mean, that gets in your psyche a little bit. So mixing things up, making sure, keeping some things fresh is a good idea. And also, I think Andrew Burnett wants to see what works um, in case you need to make some changes when the games start counting in the playoffs. Sam Reinhart was supposed to be on the line with Sasha Barkov and Carter Verhage um, much longer than he was. They started the season there. Um, it didn't really work. So they want to see that look again, uh, you know, because you may, you may have to come back to it. So a couple updates. Um, number 55, Noah Chari uh, will not play tonight. Uh, he has an upper body injury. He is day to day. Um, Anton Lundell skated again today. Um, he is not, he might be in the lineup tonight. We'll see. Right now, we've got him as a healthy scratch. Andrew Burnett said that they would find out how he feels after practice today, and we'll see what happens. But more than likely, he'll get another day of practice tomorrow. I would expect he plays either Saturday uh, in New Jersey or on Sunday. So uh, good news for Anton Lundell. He'll be rejoining the lineup pretty soon. Uh, Nolachari again, day to day. Uh, we asked about Aaron Ekblad. Uh, they say he's progressing just fine. He doesn't think, uh, uh, Andrew Burnett doesn't think that Aaron Ekblad has skated since his injury. Uh, but uh, I've heard that that's close. So we'll, we'll keep monitoring that. Again, Aaron Ekblad, because of the salary cap concerns, is not coming back until the end of the, until the, the playoffs start. Uh, the Florida Panthers would be way over the salary cap if he did so he's not coming back even if he could be he's not so uh you know there's real no rush on this they want aaron ekblad to be healthy uh last year he had the ankle injury had the panthers made it to the you know the the, the east the, the the final the conference finals last year uh aaron ekblad might have been ready to play so uh, way ahead of schedule. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, that'll do it. We'll be back for the post game show, Panthers and Blackhawks tonight. Uh, don't forget to come and visit us at floridahockeynow.com. I've got a story up this morning about how the Panthers are just absolutely obliterating their, uh, their, their, their record book. Uh, you know, in a couple days, this team's going to set all sorts of team records. Uh, not only, you know, personal records, which are being blown up day after day, but team records as well. So check us out, floridahockeynow.com. Uh, subscriptions start at like $3.50 monthly or the $30 annual fee, which is the best deal in town to cover your Florida Panthers. Uh, also, hit subscribe here on the YouTube channel. We're getting really, really close to that 1,000 mark to where we can start doing some live shows and doing weekly uh weekly video uh podcasts so uh whatever those are called v pods or whatever i don't know vlogs 
We're going to be doing them as soon as we get to a thousand uh, subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your mailman to come subscribe to the Florida Hockey Now YouTube channel. I'm George Richards. That's it for me. We'll see you post game. Have a good day, everybody.